The big difference between painting with acrylic or oil paint versus encaustic paintings is an encaustic painting is more three-dimensional. You can add so many different materials after you're done using the wax that give it so much texture and an intriguing look in the end versus an acrylic or oil painting that is very two-dimensional. My name is Kelsey Wong. I live in Seattle, Washington with my husband and three kids, and I'm a mixed media artist specializing in encaustic painting. The piece that I'm currently working on is inspired from a recent trip to Hawaii and seeing the ocean and the movement and the colors, uh, the blues and the greens and the pinks from the sunset. Encaustic painting does a really good job of showing movement, and so I was inspired to create this piece from that trip. A piece on average takes between 10 to 30 hours based on size. To begin an encaustic painting, you have to pick a support. I use birch wood because it's very smooth. After picking out the size, I use an encaustic gesso, which helps protect the wood from burning when you add heat with the wax. So after the gesso is applied, I begin painting wax layers onto the board and there are many layers added. The first few are clear and it's a combination of beeswax and Damar resin, which is a very strong, solid surface when dry. The hardest part about encaustic painting is being extremely patient because the pieces take a very long time to complete, as well as creating equal heat when you're applying the wax and heating it up that you don't get lots of air bubbles and that you're very even with the heat distribution. After the first few layers are applied just clear, I start adding pigment to my wax color. And in between each layer, I heat the wax back up to bind to the layers below and you keep doing that same process until you're satisfied with how it looks. My favorite part of the process is when I get to those last layers of adding wax and the effects that they show and the colors that come through are so beautiful. And then the last part of the process is to add materials such as glass or gold leaf or rock or sand, um, endless amounts of materials that can be added to finish the piece. I'm very attracted to encaustic painting because it combines my love of painting as well as my love of sculpture into one medium.